Are you wanting to start the carnivore diet, but the price of steak is holding you back? How can anyone afford to eat ribeyes every single day? I'm here to tell you that the carnivore diet doesn't have to be expensive. In this video, I'm gonna give you a list of foods that are carnivore and budget friendly, and also some tips to help you save. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate, I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share and make sure to subscribe. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook where I share new posts every single day. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that the carnivore diet doesn't have to be just steak. There are a wide range of animal foods that you can eat when you're following a carnivore diet. And I think just knowing that makes the diet more approachable. So what foods can you include that won't break the bank? Ground beef is a great way to get the benefits of beef without the hefty price tag. And plus, it's really versatile. You can make burgers, you can mix it in with eggs, one thing that I really like to do is create a carnivore burrito bowl. So I add some bacon bits in there and top it with some sour cream. Highly recommend. Now I live in Australia and I know that most of my followers are in the US. So I wanted to give some prices, but honestly you guys use pounds, which just makes things really confusing. Plus the exchange rate, uh, it was just too much mouth for me. But to give you a sense, in Australia, we can get a kilo of ground beef for around 10 Australian dollars. In the US, the average price in 2018 was $3.73 per pound. No matter what country you live in, ground beef is an affordable option. And this is just such a good staple. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to say that I do not think People need to eat 100% grass-fed beef all the time. If it's not in your budget, go for conventional. Yes, there are some benefits to eating grass-fed, slightly higher nutrition, a better omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, but in general, any meat is better than no meat. And I think the fact that a lot of people think you need to eat grass-fed beef to do the carnivore diet is pushing people away. So just wanted to put that out there. If you can afford it, buy it. If you can't, do what's in your budget. The second food is gonna be eggs. These are fantastic. They complement beef, not just in terms of taste, but also nutrition wise. They are high in vitamins and minerals that beef is a little bit lower in. They are a good source of choline, vitamin K2, selenium, and vitamin E. In Australia, you can get a dozen eggs for about $3.50. And in the US, the average price is $1.60. Now, the same thing that I said with beef, well, pasture-raised eggs do have the slight advantage. If you can't afford them, you can't afford them. And any eggs are better than no eggs. And then we have tinned fish. So specifically things such as salmon, sardines, anchovies, mackerel and herring. These are cold water oily fish, high in fat, high in nutrition. And I think this is one food that is underrated nutrition wise. People like to talk about eating a nose to tail carnivore diet, eating all these different organ meats and parts of the animal. If you are eating something like sardines, you are eating nose to tail. You are literally eating the whole fish, bones included. Like eggs, these fish complement beef. They are high in nutrients, especially omega-3s, vitamin D, and iodine. A tin of any of these fish is only gonna be a dollar or two. And one last thing I'm gonna note is always buy these fish in spring water. Don't buy them in sunflower oil or canola oil or whatever else. If your only option is olive oil, that's better than some of the other oils, but the best is gonna be spring water. And then we have beef roasts. These are usually cheaper than if you're gonna buy the beef cut up. These are a great way to get a lot of meat for a low price. Really easy to cook as well. You can slow cook them 
and <laughs> you'll have meat for days that you can just reheat. And this can actually end up being cheaper than ground beef when you compare the cost per pound or per kilo. A whole brisket in the US can be as low as $4.73 per pound. In Australia, you can get one for about $13 per kilo. Next up is bone broth. So you can use leftover bones that you already have, or you can also buy some from your butcher. They're really inexpensive. I have a video on my channel on how to make bone broth. It's honestly so simple and so worth it. This will take your carnivore diet cooking to the next level. You can make soups. I love slow cooking meat in my slow cooker with bone broth. The roasts, like we talked about previously, that can be done. Just put a little bit of bone broth on the bottom. And one really great thing about making your own bone broth is you also get tallow. When you cook and cool the bone broth, the tallow separates and comes to the top. You can remove this and use it for cooking. And then you don't have to go out of your way to buy other cooking oils or fat. And I wanted to finish this video off by talking about a couple foods I think you should splurge on on the carnivore diet. The first one is gonna be butter. It is well worth it to get a high quality grass-fed butter. If you can get a raw butter, even better. This will have a better omega-3 to omega-6 ratio and also be higher in fat-soluble vitamins. The second thing I think you should splurge on is organ meats if you're gonna eat them. So beef liver, chicken liver, any other organs you want to include. Even if you buy these 100% grass-fed, pasture-raised, all that, they are still very inexpensive. And if you're eating organ meats, you're probably eating them because they're nutritious. So you might as well maximize that as much as you can. And I actually have one more tip I wanted to include, and that is to buy your meat in bulk. If you have a chest freezer, you can buy a quarter, a half, even a whole cow if you have the space. You can buy high, high quality meat for a fraction of the price. This is by far the most cost-effective way, but I do understand that it's not an option for everyone. There is a pretty big upfront cost, but you end up saving money in the long term. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're currently keto and thinking about trying the carnivore diet, but not sure where to start, my four week keto to carnivore program is for you. I give you everything you need to know to start a carnivore diet successfully while answering questions and offering support through a private Facebook group. A new round starts at the end of every month and there are limited spots available. So make sure to click the link above to join the waitlist so you're the first to find out when the next round opens. Here's what some past participants had to say about the program. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.